Okay. And in here, what we do is uh, we have a comparison of a guy named Superfan with the famous Felix. And we'll test if the the Felix has break the sound barrier and will the super fan break the sound barrier. You don't know? Let's try. Okay, so the rest of it we'll analyze why super fan can break the sound barrier and will super fan do better than Felix. Okay, and at the end we'll talk about other fluid flow or thermal problems. So, what's the story about last year? Um, last year, there is quite an event. There is one guy that is so brave that he, he went on a balloon and jumped off from the space. Around, I think probably if I remember correctly, it's around 40 kilometers from the ground. Okay. So he's wearing all the suits like a spaceman. And he's trying to break the speed of sound. Uh, the speed of sound is around 340 meters per second at sea level. Okay, he's trying to break through that. So, how brave a man it is. Okay, and is it possible that we can break, a man can break the speed of sound? Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, the speed of sound is actually not a constant. It's changing with the altitude, or to be more precise, it's changing with the pressure, changing with the density of the surroundings. So, uh, Felix is jump off at around 40 kilometers from Earth. Okay, so it's in a, we call the atmospheric stretches, stratos, okay, if I pronounce it correctly, stratos. So, so that's called a stratos jump from 40 km. Okay. And the speed of sound is 317, somewhere around there. Okay. And we call that Mach 1, uh, another unit of the speed. Okay. So we'll see during the fall, will Felix meet the Mach 1 or not? Okay. To really break it. So, Let's have a look. Uh, we come back to the most basic, basic kind of uh, velocity things, but we want to test out uh, what's the real speed, what's the condition surrounding the Felix. Okay, so come back to very basic Felix just for a, a, a rough estimation, right? Without without considering uh, the drag force, I mean the buoyancy force from the A. Okay, we have this simple equation V equal to AT. And because it is a free fall, so the altitude, the falling altitude will equal to initial uh, condition minus uh, the distance travel. Okay, so we have so, so this is where you jump off. Somewhere around here. And we have time and velocity equal to zero and the uh, speed of sound so the speed of sound will be used as a comparison because it's changing okay so the record show that he's accelerating at this data and the real people Felix actually penetrate to the speed of sound okay after 35 seconds free fall okay he's gaining speed from 0 to 98, blah, 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 throughout the flow. So we might wonder how, what kind of help, what kind of thing can help him break the sound barrier? Okay. Is it able to, how, how far could it go? Okay, let's have a look. <coughs> okay, I have a model here. Uh, thanks to Greg from the GrabCat. Uh, it's called Superfan. Okay. I try to make a close comparison so that uh, Superfan and Felix actually is quite similar in terms of their geometry. Okay, so we have uh, 
a super fan with a round head and Felix has a round head also. That is a protecting suit for for Felix. Okay, he wears suits. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be our contester, super fan to Felix. Okay. So I am going to run a study on Superfan. I'm going to do a wind tunnel test using my computer only. Okay, I, I don't have a capital to build a wind tunnel test, but I do have SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. Allow me to analyze this kind of problem. I'm going to do a full spec original model at 0, 0.5 map. Okay. So in order to judge whether is superfan is going to accelerating or not, we're going to look at two opposite force, which is the gravity force, okay, and the drag force. Right now, the test is set at zero point five mag, which means it's not until uh, breaking the sound barrier yet, but. Uh, we have a constant, which is the uh, gravitational force, is equal to F equal to mg, um, which in Felix, his his wave is uh, his wave is 93 kilometer. Okay, that that include the space suit, the protection suit that he wear. So probably Felix is not a very heavy person. I think he's quite a fit person. So although he very kind of uh, oxygen supply uh, heavy suit that's only 93 kilometer okay that's fine so we have a force to counter our drag force has to be below around 900 newton in order to keep accelerating in other words if i use simulation to find out the drag force is actually higher than the gravitational force it will mean that I will not uh, keep accelerating. I will not even break to 0 0.5 mag. Okay, so let's see. Let's have a run. So setting up the simulation is quite uh, straightforward. I just uh, given a mag number and then I will run the simulation. So along the simulation go, it is a dynamic problem. So uh, we can see that the software is keep changing the display, right? and then keep plotting out the answer until it convergence. Okay. So for the first setup, we can see after this guy is falling in this direction, he's falling uh, uh, like uh, sleeping on a bad position okay, and falling down. And we found that if he is able to reach 0 0.5 mag, okay, if it's zero, he is facing a drag of minus a thousand and six hundred newton okay, opposed to the gravity okay which means it's greater than the gravity okay so he will not fall in this okay let's have a look further analyze uh, what is going on so this is a plot a cut sectional area plot using the mag number as a value we can see a uh, blue color one is zero mag and the red color one is the highest one is 0 0.65 mag okay and this is the how's the flow around this guy super fan and there is two part of them is 0 0.68 and behind the super fan most of it is blue color okay and this is how uh, a low pressure over here and he is gaining some lift. Higher pressure is below, lower pressure is behind. So he's he's couldn't break through even 0 0.5 mag. Okay. So um, it's quite disappointing. Okay. <coughs> but we will not lose again this. We'll try to find out what is the factor and how to improve. I'm pretty sure a uh, super fan will fight. You know, Felix, because Superfan is a, you know, Superfan. 
he will not lose to a human, Felix. Okay, let's see. Probably we can use the power of size combined with the power of experiment to improve the performance of the speed. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we're going to modify the equipment of our superfan and verify it. Okay, our problem is we could not get through even 0 0.5 meg. Okay, so the, the underlying root cause is the drag force. So I would like to decrease the drag force as much as I could. And I, I took a little search on the NASA page and I will find out what's the drag force depends on. So <coughs> here's the relationship. The drag, for, drag force D is actually related to the co drag force coefficient CD and proportionally uh, related to density of the surrounding and of the velocity of the surrounding and the reference area. Okay. So and the, so this is probably the uh, I sum up of the two important factors, uh, which in layman term is uh, is effect by body frontal cross sectional area. Okay, so how many area is in perpendicular to the moving direction? Okay, that's probably is one of the important uh, consideration. The other one is something about CD coefficient, something that affecting the CD is the incoming stream dynamic head. Okay. How the head, uh, the face that uh, perpendicular to the moving direction can penetrate the air okay, and make sure the air uh, seal up nicely at the behind. Okay. So two factors. Okay, let's have a look. We'll make some improvement here. Um, now, because uh, we I was thinking about reducing the area, so let's just chop off the cape, make it shorter, and try to use a similar test again. So now the this super fan has a shorter cape as shown. Now solving another test, right? Because this is a rather simple model and it solved quite quickly. Okay, uh, for uh, in my computer, this was about. Uh, 10 minutes around that okay and we are uh, achieve a converged result so uh, we can see there is some difference behind right the the blue region is smaller the low pressure region is smaller so that is an improvement and apart from here on the other place is likely the same okay and we found the drag drag force okay we keep tracing the drag force during the solving, and we find out in the final solution that the drag force is minus one thousand and four hundred. Okay, compared to just now before we cut it, this, the cap it is one thousand and six hundred. Quite an improvement, around uh, two hundred something newton, right? So uh, will heat will the will superfan reach zero point five mag? Okay, so what do you think? Mm, probably not because uh, the the force, the lifting force is still higher than the dropping force. So no, fail again. Even though we cut the cape, it's not really a nice solution in the in in terms of aerodynamics, right? So should we give up so easily? No, because uh, I think Felix, in terms of geometry, is quite similar to. Uh, Felix, why he doesn't break through? Okay. So I um, let's make another move, right? <coughs> so I do a little research again. I found in order to in most of the aerospace application or not only aerospace, aerodynamic uh, point of view in terms also of the cars, sport cars, uh, we have to get a good position, which is called a uh, we call a uh, delta position. In this term, in a free fall situation, it's a uh, head down position. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, experience in in the aerodynamics uh, 
knowledge that it could produce a better result inside here. So let, how about we give a try and see what's different it makes. Okay, so I reposition the super fan in a hit down position and we run another simulation. Alright, so this is how, how it goes, a uh, head down position over here. And uh, surprisingly, we find out that the the condition, the flow condition around superfan is really different. Just a position change, but it really differs. And we can see now the blue region, the low pressure region is actually at the bottom. Okay, actually at the bottom. And um, we found that the drag force is much, much more lower than the previous two testing. Now it's minus 54 only. Consider uh, some of the friction. Most of them is the friction, not the pressure. Okay, so at this term, we can conclude that if we're going down in this position, <coughs> we are going to accelerate in a very fast, almost a free force, free fall, okay, compared to 900 something minus people, it's still very close to free fall. So the speed up is still very fast. So until 0 0.5 meg, super fan is going to speed up very, very fast, okay, in this position. So where does super fan stop? Where the super fan stop? So we, I run another test again. This time, same position, and I increase the leg number to zero point nine nine meg. I would like to find out the drag force. See if it is increased. I think it will increase, but we see if it will matching the gravitation force or not. Okay, if we match the nine hundred newton, it will indicate that. Superfan will start to uh, start to be in a turning point. You will start to stop accelerating and start to maintain a, a certain speed. Okay, and okay. Let's see. So <coughs> we have a look over here. Well, surprisingly, uh, we start to see some different effects. Okay, the, the overall profile is still the same. It's still a cone shape pointing to the ground. And we start to see some flow interaction around the cone shape. Okay? And we start to see that the force, the drag force, is has increased to minus 200. Okay? So increasing the mag close to sound barrier, the drag force is still lower than our gravitational force which means that it is still accelerating. At this point, I'm pretty sure that this guy will break through the sound barrier. Okay, when he's big, he will arrive first and his sound will arrive less. Okay, that's the weird phenomena we have here. And what happened here is um, zero minus two, three, six. Okay, we can see there is still a large space to improve. Okay, which means that Probably this guy would not only break one meg, but also he can go up to 1.5, 2 meg. We don't know. We have to test it out. So let's analyze uh, more carefully whether uh, what happened when we are closing to the sound barrier in this position. Okay. So wearing a Superman suit like this, heading down and pointing the victory finger. And we find out that the green region, that the green region is the one max, which means uh, super transonic flow. Okay, gamma one max on this area, and you notice there is two small region at the stomach, somewhere around stomach. One is in front of stomach, one is uh, behind the cape. So that one is uh, more higher max region. Okay, higher pressure, higher region. So uh, we can see that when Felix is jumping over, his team actually is worrying about the safety of his uh, 
body or to be precise his organ so they were worried about the vibration somewhere around that could uh, pressurize his organ that could harm his health during he do this trial so we brought out the isotropic uh, surface and we found out that, that truly there is some uh, probably there is some problems around the bodies okay some high flow and low flow uh, very near the body that could create vibration okay so however let's just leave the worry to Felix because uh, our contester is a uh, super fan you will not receive any damage so don't worry about it okay so for Felix his team has uh, given him a pressure line protection suit okay so Felix is a human because of this extreme condition to protect him okay they did a uh, quite a you know quite a big investment in this suit almost like an astronaut suit right. but he's still wearing the motorcycle helmet though okay anyway let's see okay why initially a uh, super fan does not break through the sound barrier okay we can see very obvious by comparing two scenario uh, the profile is quite different the blue region for in the flat position is behind the back okay so obviously it's creating some sort of lift effect okay and in the head down position we can see that uh, the low pressure region is in front of the head okay so that 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 would say we could say that uh, the the effects of lift is minimized okay so this is a, something to do about the body frontier sectional area okay. so a, a good reduce of area opposed to the direction of the uh, movement okay. and as for the next factors incoming screen dynamic hit you can see that uh, for two dynamic plot for plot one you can see that the A okay because this guy is quite nice uh, wearing the nice suit and the streamline is quite okay in coming through however at the behind there is a big space they are not sealing up nice okay? so probably we have seen in many movie when we draw the sport car actually they use the Hollywood movie they use the streamline to pull out the, 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 the swift effect wow the car is moving very fast okay we can see now in our simulation so uh, this car is a uh, have a very nice uh, front that break open up the flow nicely however it's very messy behind in the back so it's not a good thing so let's see the plot two okay the the line in overall is open, open up well and close up well okay reduce the disturbance a lot okay however in front of the head uh, it's not very good yet Okay, it's not very good yet, but it's still much more nicer than uh, situation one. So we can say this is a uh, quite an improvement in terms of the incoming stream dynamic head. All right. So let's see. Let's uh, let's make a uh, let's discuss. Uh, will Superfan do better than Felix? Okay. So on my right hand side, I have a chart. This is the record of uh, Felix, uh, blue line. You can see the blue line. So this is on time zero. This is how he jumped off the cliff and gaining a speed. And at here, okay, he probably designed to stop, go down, and then maintain a speed, a much more lower state. Okay. So what actually Felix do? we can see at the turning point so probably he is gaining such a speed without uh, without you know it's like a, it's much more like a free fall experience close to free fall 
So it probably I, I can make a guess that he is actually using this position. So for around 50 seconds, wow, this is not easy for a human. So all the bloods will go into the food and he will feel, he will feel so bad. This must be a very big burden to his heart. Okay. So somehow over here, a sharp turn, okay, he is this decreasing his speed. Okay. So um, based on some analysis I made just now, I can see that this turning is not that he is not able to break the sound barrier anymore because of physical problem. It's more to that he is meeting the world record or he is unable to bear a more extreme condition so that he decided to take a more, you know, a suitable position to decrease the speed. Okay, so this is what the choice he made, decrease the speed down here. Okay, and probably until here, uh, he uh, opened up his parachute. So he have a, another change of gradient speed. Okay, so in other words, will Superfan do better than Felix? Of course, we will do better than Felix because our superfan is invincible. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so this is almost the end of our this analysis. So, uh, would you like to have one more con contester come in? Okay. I think somebody is waiting to break our superfan's record. Okay. If superfan is able to make to two two max. One of our friends probably can break three back. Okay, so stay tuned for the next series of skydiving. We will see these uh, people looking at the newspaper. Okay, will we do better than the super fan? Okay, so here's almost the end of our uh, webinar on this week. So what we discuss is uh, we use flow simulation to analyze. Uh, the possible situation of free falling, okay, and with the help of uh, advanced analysis tool, we can find out what is the reason, what is the reason of uh, yeah. stopping us to meet our requirement, uh, and find out the way, and to get a quantified value to justify whether our design is uh, correct and most efficient or not, okay, so. Uh, Overall here, uh, we will uh, go for Q&A section. So um, if you have any question, um, you can type in the chat. Okay? You can see on your left hand side, you have a chat. All right. So or you can you have a question. Okay. Both of them is okay. You can type inside there if you have any question to ask. <coughs> okay. So um, probably it's not just skydiving, uh, not only just the physical setup. I welcome all the questions, including that you can ask about uh, electronics, another fruitful question like HVAC, waste treatment control, uh, thermal energy storage. So, okay. So, any questions? Okay, um, if you have very private questions, probably you don't want to ask uh, in the chat room related to your work or on your project, student project, you could um, actually email to my email, sean at cat-vision.com or you can contact me at 017-678-3988. Okay, so we can discuss more about this. So uh, for those who come in, uh, 
after we have start, okay, when you do not have the full uh, webinars, you can wait for our recordings, our marketing staff will upload the full recordings to our website, okay, and you, you will have the link to see it, okay. So thank you very much for joining this webinar. We hope to see you again uh, for the next series of simulation webinar. Bye.